course, the drought would also affect the prices in beef and dairy. 23ABC's Camilla Bastidas talked to a local rancher about how this could affect us locally. Camilla? Some ranchers are barely staying afloat because of high production prices. And high prices on corn could put some people out of business. Jack Lavers is a sixth generation rancher from Glenville. And he says corn prices could cause a big impact for the cattle industry. There are people that are scraping by right now that I think could potentially go out of business, um, mainly in the feedlot area of our industry. Um, but I, I think most of us are going to be all right and be able to make it through as long as these prices that we're getting for our beef hold up. The latest report says wheat and corn prices jumped to more than 4% today. And the USDA predicts that a piece of steak at the meat counter could soon cost 10% more. Dairy producers are also concerned. The price increase is one more nail in the coffin on uh, dairy producers. We're already facing extremely high cost of production with low milk prices. So this is just one more expense that dairymen are having to struggle through. Right now, a ton of corn costs about $325, but some estimate that it could go up by 25% to $350. This is just one more cost, and milk prices are relatively low, and the cost of production is high and getting higher. So if you're milking cows in California, you're losing money. Overall, it's a lose-lose situation for everyone, except those growing corn outside the Midwest. Yeah, if you have a, a, a good uh, quality of corn coming up in your farm fields right now, you're going to be doing really good right now. It's on your bushels here soon. Farmers in the Midwest are still hoping it rains within the next two weeks because that could help the crops. In studio, Camilla Bastidas, 23 ABC.